Hello everyone and welcome back to RGB Tech. In today's video, I will show you how you can install and run Android OS on an iPhone or iPad using UTM SE. So let's get started. Simply open App Store and search for UTM SE emulator, or you simply use the link in description. All right, open UTM SE emulator, go to settings. Make sure to enable auto save on background and auto save on low memory. Leave other settings to default. All right, now create new virtual machine. Select new machine. Select DVD CD image option. Here you need to get the image file. So download the Android ISO image file. In this video, I'll choose Android 4.3 version. Of course, we know it's older version, but currently this is the stable version working on UTM. Download the image file. However, you can also try with the Android 9 build. It may work, but unstable. All right, now go to UTM, select browse. Here, select the downloaded Android image file. Select continue. Here, choose architecture to x86-64. Set memory to at least one GB. Select CPU cores to two cores. Now continue. Select storage to at least eight gigs. Continue, continue. Save machine settings. All right, now again, go to settings, information. Rename the machine. Select icon style to OS. Choose Android icon. Get back, go to system. All these settings are same as usual. Go to Kimu settings. Disable UEFI boot. Go to input. Set USB 3.0 support. Leave the remaining settings to default. All right, now save. Now start the machine. Okay, as you can see, there are some boot options. You can directly run Android on live without installation or you can install the complete setup of Android on UTM itself. The first one directly boots the Android system without any setup, but only works temporarily. Here I'll show the complete setup installation process. Choose installation. Here you need to create the partition, so select it. As you can see, this is our storage space which we gave. Create new. As primary partition, allocate the disk value for Android, at least to four gigs. Enter the value as 4096 for the Android OS as separate partition. Select beginning. All right, our assigned partition gets created. So select this partition as bootable. Now select right. Here it will ask you to write the partition table to disk. Enter yes. All right, now quit the process. Here, as you can see, so this is our partition to boot and install Android. Now enter. Choose file system to FAT32, select yes, it formats the partition. Skip grub bootloader. It starts to install Android. Here you need to create the image size. Assign the value to 1024 MB. It starts to create the data image. All right, now it's successfully installed. Now run Android x86 and enter. The booting takes a bit more time for the first time to load up all the things, apps on it. Here I'll fast forward the process. And there we go. We are on the welcome page. Continue the setup process. Now we have successfully installed Android on iPhone or iPad. The live wallpapers are not working. It's probably due to the GPU acceleration is not available on this version of UTM. Of course, you can also use the internet browser. Anyways, that's all for today's video, guys. Hope you liked, also subscribed. Also check out the Windows UTM videos too. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.